When thinking about sustainability, we often think about three aspects, the economic, the social, and the environment. When looking at cities, we need to look at that as well. And I've come up with five key elements which I think are key for sustainable cities. The first one is from ownership to access. We need to think of not owning anything anymore, but actually accessing a series of services. So we could be looking at the percentage, for instance, of total energy consumed in the city from renewable sources. We could look at shared transportation. These are new metrics that we need to look at. The other one is the 15-minute city. How can we actually get to places that matter to us within 15 minutes, by foot or by bike? Maybe we need to look at uh, how long does it take us to get to places that matter, such as schools, parks, the places where we shop. And the other one is the availability of third spaces. Community spaces are not the home, they are not the, the workplace, there are all those spaces in between, which can be either virtual or physical, where we can interact with each other. During COVID-19, lots of people have actually expressed the desire not to be isolated. And there's been lots of opportunities for connection. Web pages that actually allowed for people to interact, to exchange experiences. But also we could look at cafes or parks. They can be third spaces. The other one is the retrofit versus the build. Our cities are full of um, uh, existing assets, which need to be rethought, new uses with uh, better um, energy consumption. So maybe instead of um, all car park, which are unused because we don't own cars anymore, maybe we can think of um, a city garden or a city farm. Let's think of those metrics when we think of a sustainable city. And the final element is the network. Um, we have Internet of Things, we have the city connected, uh, we all are producing uh, lots of information, lots of uh, uh, services ca which can be useful for other citizens, and in fact they are. There's been plenty of connections between uh, different citizens and many different neighbours to help each other, offering food to those who actually couldn't maybe get out of the house. Those are uh, intelligent uses of Internet of Things uh, from a bottom-up perspective. At the same time, networks mean that cities are connected at the supra level. They are networks of cooperation. We can think of C40 as a, a union of cities um, from all over the world which are fighting against climate change, for instance. Sustainable cities are actually um, an important matter. I think that it's evident that uh, we are all living in them and we are all responsible for them becoming sustainable. So I think that we need to activate our role as citizens and be uh, agents of change. We start now, so we have the future ahead. <laughs>